2017 may be the year that mobile video came of age, but also how advertisers use it. So what can we expect in 2018? In the UK, uh, mobile is going to be roughly the same time spent as television. And for a long time, mobile marketers have been complaining about not getting their share of the budget. Well, next year, according to eMarketer, uh, mobile will actually get twice the budget that television gets. Marketers are starting to see more and more the effectiveness of mobile. Many of the promises that we've been talking about for years around it being a more personal device, the advertising being less uh, cluttered so people are actually seeing it, um, and of course targeting. The real promise of mobile has been matching the objectives of a campaign to the individuals who see the campaign to get better and better results. Mobile advertising comes in different forms, but one in particular is getting the most traction. Within each of those different areas, whether or not you're looking at app advertising, mobile web advertising or social media advertising, all on mobile, there are still video advertising is rising to the top. It's, it's what connects most powerfully with consumers. So you can create video ads. You need to be thinking about the mobile experience. So you need to be a little bit faster sometimes to get your message over. You've got to try and engage people because they can very easily leave you. But that's not so different to uh, television advertising actually. It's not so different to the challenges that advertising always has that it, it needs to try and um, be a positive influence on people's experience. Ultimately what we really care about is the outcomes that are being delivered from those advertising experiences and, and mobile is uniquely placed to actually link all of that together because in most cases one of us, each of us have one mobile. That mobile usually knows what we've been browsing, it knows where we've been to, um, you know, physically whether or not we've been into various stores or sports stadiums, um, whether or not we travel a lot as business travellers and increasingly it's actually starting to be linked back to what we've actually spent even with, uh, with loyalty card or credit card data. So it, it holds the key not only to better advertising experiences but also to attribution or finding out how those advertising experiences were actually effective and that obviously creates a, a great opportunity to use a lot more data to drive more powerful advertising and actually to use artificial intelligence as well to learn when you have huge data sets moving very quickly and, and consumers that are reacting to, to, to things in real time then AI is very very effective at, um, at learning those patterns and reacting to those to get better and better placements that drive better and better outcomes. One of those outcomes may be going into a physical store and mobile devices could help bridge the gap between the mobile world and the real world. We, we work with brands like quick service restaurants, automotive and um, fashion brands and we're helping them to track uh, whether or not someone after seeing ads has actually gone into one of their stores using third parties help us, help us measure that, looking at whether or not the device after seeing an ad went into a store. Um, so brands are getting better and better at, at, at measuring that. Companies that provide the measurement are, are people like even Snapchat now. And we've, we've been able to use AI to drive better results and send more people into stores. So we always measure what was the increase due to the AI in all the different outcomes, uh, different advertising that we do. And we saw a 25% improvement by using LoopMe's AI against uh, sending people into store for those brands. Stephen doubles up as the chair of the Mobile Marketing Association. There's increasing evidence that mobile ads are having a greater impact than more traditional media. We've, as the MMA, we've done studies with people like Coca-Cola and Unilever and Mastercard to show that shifting spend from TV advertising into mobile and especially into mobile video advertising, we've seen increases for, from those brands um, all the way down to actual sales or to um, you know, key changes in brand awareness, which are between four to six times more effective than just running more frequency on television. Hello, I'm James Wright. Thanks for watching Marketing Media Money. To check out more online videos, just click on the boxes and don't forget to subscribe to the CNBC Life channel at the bottom of the screen.